everyone, my name is Mahsa. I'm the founder and design director of DBM, previously known as Design by Mahsa. I've been coming to Dubai since 1999 and I've been extremely fortunate to have witnessed the growth and the evolution of the city. Eventually, I moved to Australia where I studied sustainable architectural and interior design, which gave me an amazing international perspective to my creative and thought process. Arriving back in Dubai in 2015, I even gained more international experience by working on projects in Australia, UK and Saudi Arabia. Blending it with my Persian background, it gave me a strong core and foundation to start DBM. Since its inception in 2018, DBM's success has been driven through reputation. In fact, 85% of our revenues are through referrals and repeat business. We have a diverse skill set. However, hospitality projects, especially FMB, is my passion. When you combine restaurant projects with a boutique hotel or a resort, there you have my dream project. Creativity can sometimes be challenging, but at the same time exciting. But nothing is more rewarding than seeing a project coming to life and seeing thousands of people creating exciting memories in the venues that we've designed. We have a huge success in commercial projects as well. In year 2022, we've delivered two of Dubai's largest commercial projects. The first one is being over 100,000 square foot of commercial spaces for the headquarters of Talabat in City Walk. And in parallel, we were running over 80,000 square foot of commercial spaces for Dubai holding in Dubai Outsource City. With growth came a new organizational structure. That's where I brought Matthew Bate as the CEO and as the partner to create something even more special. I think joining DBM has been you know, a great opportunity um, to, to bring something new to a design company. Um, Master brings a huge amount of experience in design where my background is a lot of real estate property development in mixed use developments, restaurants, resorts, hotels, residential. And so now we have an ownership team that really combines the design element, but also looking at the operational functions, asset management, which gives us a new perspective on the products that we're actually designing to ensure it's not just sort of sustainable from a design point of view, but also operationally sustainable. So I think when we're looking at trends, I mean, if we take, for example, our most recent product that we're actually handing over and, and will be the grand opening very soon is, is a project called Reef and Beef um, in the boulevard downtown in Dubai. And it was interesting. We wanted to look at trends and, and especially in the steak restaurants at the moment, there's a lot of trends about showmanship and that really does work. Um, but what we wanted to do was actually draw upon you know, the original roots of New York steakhouses, which dated back to the 1920s, yet still bring, you know, a little bit of arabesque and more, you know, regional influences to create something, something very, very new and something very different to provide new experiences for the end consumers. Um, and we're also doing another project in DIFC, which is a lifestyle related project. Uh, it's in the outdoors, um, so we have climate concerns or climate considerations that we have to take into considerations. Another interesting project that we worked on uh, was obviously the Talib, which Marcel was talking about, the Talibat head office, which is over 10,000 square meters, um, you know, spread over three stories. And this was converted from a retail space into office. Um, here we had a lot of different challenges, uh, but we wanted to really assess the vertical heights and how do we utilize this huge atrium and how do we utilize those vertical heights. So we came up with extremely creative ways um, to make more workspaces that were enclosed as well as open uh, to allow a variety of different environments for, uh, for the staff. In regards to 2023, 2024, I mean, there's no doubt uh, globally, I really believe it's exciting times. One of the challenges we have at DBM is, you know, we've got two very proactive owners now. Um, I'm going to throw it to Master a little bit 
just to give you her insights. I would still like to keep it as a boutique company and have that boutique approach to make sure all the clients still have the same services that we've been providing. And I would like to be personally involved on all the concept creations. So what we've got to do is try to, you know, and appreciate it. And that's where the growth of the company is. That's where the reputation is. And that's where it's going to continue. The challenge is always balancing, you know, growth, commercial reality, without losing that boutique feel. Um, I'm sure we can do it because we provide an extremely pleasant sort of corporate culture and the ability to grow without losing our intent. Uh, you know, we, we, we do have that. Um, so again, we see it being, you know, really interesting ahead. We've got some great lifestyle projects m moving forward. Um, and I think it is all about lifestyle, creating new experiences, ones that are, like we always say, has longevity and, and is sustainable. So, uh, you know, I'm sure there's going to be big things moving forward.